Hey, this is Minister Briefing. I'm Matt Steen. Hey, I'm Todd Rhodes. Hey, Matt. Today we've got a story about a pastor down in Florida, Pastor Rich Wilkerson, Jr. Um, we should have got him on the show. That would have been an interesting interesting uh, time. But anyway, he has this this uh, service he does on Tuesday nights, kind of a college-age service called, what's it called, The Voos? The Voo. The, the Voo. Okay, well, and what's that, what's that short for? It's short for The Rendezvous. There you go. Sounds sounds pretty hip. Well, anyway, uh, so this article starts out. This is in the Miami uh, New Times. We'll have it down below. But the article starts out and says he's got a problem. He's got this 1,500-seat uh, megachurch of Miami Gardens that he's got to fill on a Tuesday night. So he's coming up with some really uh, interesting ways. And I couldn't find a follow-up story to see if he actually followed through on this or not. I'd be interested if anybody knows. But uh, he decided that uh, he would eat a cockroach if enough people attended the church. Wait, wait, um, this, this is South Florida, so is it a cockroach or is it a palmetto bug? Uh, I have no idea. Oh, okay. Is one bigger than the other? I would hope it would be whatever the biggest one was. Yeah, the, the palmetto bugs, they're, they're pretty scary. I've, I've seen them take small children hostage. Really? Oh, they're, they're pretty big. Anyhow, continue. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, uh, the pastor's saying, you know, if eating a cockroach will get them there, then I'm all willing to do that. I just want to do anything to get people to have an opportunity to meet Jesus. Okay, so this church is, and, and this pastor's done some, some strange things. I mean, he, he shaved half of his head one time. He had his legs waxed. Wow. Um, they did a, a, a taser um demonstration during one of his services uh they do this uh what they call a body racking 40-day liquid food fast that they've done in the church so just kind of extreme measures um what do you think about this matt is this is this uh you know craig Groeschel says that he's willing to do anything short of sin to to uh, uh introduce people to jesus i guess this would be one of those right i i guess um Although I haven't, I haven't seen Craig wax in his le- uh, legs lately. I, I would like to see that. Um, I, I, I don't know, Todd. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm kind of torn on this. I, um, I, I, I don't know. I, I would like to see how he does it. You know, I, I hope that this is kind of tied into something that he's teaching. What, what do you mean? That's just stupid, Matt. What do you mean you want to see how he does it? Well, one, he's going to eat a cockroach. Yeah, I, it's just like, I mean, is this? Is this a gimmicky thing, or is this, you know, tied into? Of course, the it's a gimmicky thing. thing. Yeah, I just, I don't know, man. I, I'm a little, I'm a little uncertain on how I feel about this. I think part of it is just the way the the article that we're reading is written, you know, and how it, at the very end it says, if you're watching a priest down a bug on stage isn't enough to get you in Jesus's fold, don't worry. Wilkerson's also giving away an iPad. So I mean, it's like, I, I, I. I I, I love the fact that they're willing to do anything to get people in to hear the message of Jesus and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, it's like, wow, man, that's um, is this is this more about the show or is this? More you know what? This is this is not new. And here's here's my take on this. It's a, it's a gimmick. Uh-huh. And will some people come and because they want to see this guy eat a cockroach? Maybe some teenagers. Maybe that's what he's going after. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, possibly. Will some anybody meet Jesus because of this? Maybe. Maybe. So is it a bad thing? Uh, it, it's a silly thing. It's kind of a stupid thing, and it's definitely a gimmick. Am I against it? I don't know. It just I, I think it cheapens uh, the the look of everything. But, you know, we did this. I, I, I've talked here often that I grew up a uh, very fundamentalist Baptist. We did this 35 years ago, yeah. this this kind of silly stuff. I remember in youth group, if, if uh, we got so many people to come, um, you know, they were, they were going to uh, tar and feather, you know, they put syrup all over the leaders and threw flour on them and all kinds of stuff. Nice. Um, I remember having these membership months where you would try and invite all your, and you would get points for inviting people to church and the people with the most points. I was so upset because I was like two points away, Matt, two points away nice. from getting an airplane ride. Ooh. I was upset. You know, somebody, somebody just kind of, not caring about the whole thing, you know, for the whole first seven weeks, and then on the eighth week they bring in twelve friends. It's like, come on, give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, uh, so I mean, we were we were gimmicky before gimmicky even had a name, um, uh, and you know what? People invited their friends, and people got saved, and um, 
So it's interesting. So I'm not against it. I just something about it makes me feel eh. yeah. Yeah, I guess I guess you said something about cheapening or something like that. Here's here's what I'm wondering, and and I I am I am okay with with whatever answer comes out of this, but I'm wondering, you know, stuff like this. And if it if it works to expand the kingdom, if it works to further the gospel, great, you know. But at the same time, is it inadvertently kind of um, causing us to be not taken seriously when it comes? Oh, to I think so. It, I think so. And and I think uh, sorry not to cut you off. I think with the if you look at some of the <laughs> some of the sex series yeah. that we've had over the past five years, we've got some churches that will do a sex a series on sex every year. Yeah. And each year, if you go back and look at their campaigns, they get a little bit, they get more provocative every year. Right. Because I think when you, you know, uh, so, okay, so you do this sex series or you eat a cockroach this week, um, you got to do something bigger and better and more audacious next week. Uh, and this guy says, you know, I'll do any, just about anything to get people to have an opportunity to meet Jesus. It's like, no, you wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of things you would not do. I bet I could give you four or five uh, right now, but um, I don't know. You know, there's there's people that are way over here that say anything, and then there's people over here that say you don't need to do anything but preach the word. Um, and, and again, I, I'm one of those guys that probably is somewhere so in the middle. It, it has to be, it doesn't need to be purely attractional, but it needs to be relevant. Exactly. You know? Yeah. So uh, I guess uh, I will give one thumbs up and one thumbs down. <laughs> Outstanding. I'm not. I'm not sure that I'm there yet. Maybe I'm probably somewhere somewhere around that. You're like this. Um. Yeah. That's that's exactly where I am. I'm, I'm doing one of these. So maybe maybe we should do that with ministry briefing. If we get like I don't know, ten thousand viral views, we'll uh, like. Hit Ed, Young, hit Ed Young in the face of the pie or something. Ooh. But he's got bodyguards. Yeah, well, I've, I've got, I've got, I've got some peeps. Okay, cool. That's what we'll do. Some peeps. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let, let, well, let us know what you think. <laughs> tell, tell us, you know, would you eat a cockroach for Jesus, or to get a bunch of people in the door to hear about Jesus? Um, is this is this gimmicky gone nuts, or is this actually something that's 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 wisely thought through and, and that you would actually do on a, on a Sunday morning in your church? Um, while you're at it, check out ministrybriefing.tv slash YouTube. Yeah, and while, while you're doing that, I'm going to run out of the mailbox and pick up that cease and desist letter from Ed Young. 